Binary classification models have a host of terminology to describe their effectiveness. Consider a simple binary data set of many items, each of which falls into one of two classes. You can always think of these two classes as positive and negative. We label all of the positive results as red and all of the negative results as green. This labeling is the reality of the underlying data before models make predictions. Once we do have a model, it will make these predictions. Here the model predicted the cases inside the circle as positive. Some predictions are correct, other predictions are incorrect. When the model correctly identifies a positive case, this classification is a true positive or TP. And incorrect positive predictions are false positives or FP. When the model correctly identifies a negative case, this classification is a true negative or TN and incorrect negative classifications are false negatives, or FN. How can we measure the performance of a binary classification model? There are several measures for this. Accuracy is one of the most common measures of model performance. The percentage of cases classified correctly is the accuracy. If you wish to calculate this accuracy, take the number of correct model predictions divided by the data size. Correct model predictions are the sum of true positives and true negatives. The data size is the sum of true positives, true negatives, false positives, and false negatives. Sensitivity and specificity are also ways to measure the performance of a model by measuring the rates of true and false positives and negatives. Sensitivity is the number of true positive TP divided by the number of true positives TP plus the number of false negatives FN. The denominator TP plus FN is equal to the number of all of the positives in the data. Consider a medical example. Sensitivity is the percentage of people with a disease that the test correctly identified as that person having. Specificity is the number of true negatives, TN, divided by the number of true negatives, TN, plus the number of false positives, FP. TN plus FP is same as the number of all negatives. Specificity is the percentage of people without a disease that a test correctly identifies as not having that disease. Models generally do not output just a binary yes, no, are they positive or negative. More commonly, models output the probability of a case being positive. We must establish a threshold to treat this probability that the model outputs as either positive or negative classification. For example, a threshold might specify any case with higher than a 75% positive probability as in fact being positive. Data scientists must carefully tune this threshold, depending on if they desire a more sensitive or more specific model. Consider this trained model. The x-axis represents the positive output probability from the model. All of the actual positive cases will fall somewhere within this range. The y-axis specifies how many cases fell at each model output on the x-axis. Similarly, all the actual negative cases will fall somewhere in this range. We must place the threshold somewhere. Any outputs above this threshold will result in a positive prediction. Similarly, any outcomes below this threshold will result in a negative prediction. Placing this threshold directly at 50% will result in some false positives. A 50% threshold also causes some false negatives. Decreasing this threshold or moving it to the left increases the rate of true positives, but at the cost of more false positives. We are tuning the model to be more sensitive. Eventually, we reach max sensitivity where the sensitivity is 100%. We now classify every positive case correctly and every negative case incorrectly because everything is classified as positive. We have sacrificed specificity for sensitivity. Increasing the threshold, or moving it to the right, increases the rate of true negatives, but at the cost of more false negatives. We are tuning the model to be more specific this time. Eventually, we reach max specificity, where the specificity is 100%. We now classify every negative case correctly, and every positive case is now classified incorrectly. 
we have sacrificed sensitivity for specificity. Precision recall are two other standard measures of binary classification that come from the field of information retrieval. Think of the search engine. The search engine results are all of the positive classifications. We are only concerned with what the model classified as positive and if those are true positives. The recall statistic specifies how many relevant results are received. We calculate this as true positives divided by true positives plus false negatives. As before, TP plus FP is the same as the number of all positives. Does this equation look familiar? We calculate recall and sensitivity in the same way. Recall specifies what percent of all positives were retrieved given a positive prediction by the model. Precision specifies what percent of information retrieved, which are positive classifications, should have been returned. We calculate precision as true positive divided by true positive plus false positive. Suppose you need to evaluate a binary classification model independently of your choice of threshold. In this case, you can utilize the receiver operator characteristic charts and area under the curve, or AUC. The rock chart, the receiver operator characteristic chart, compares the trade-off between true and false positive rates. The algorithm generates this chart by trying a range of thresholds and seeing where the true and false positive rates fell. The corners of the rock chart are always 0, 0, and 1, 1. At the bottom left, both the true and false positive rates are 0, so it's 0, 0. Here, the threshold is 0, so everything is classified as negative, which means that we classify nothing as positive so the false positive rate is also zero. At the far right, the threshold is at its maximum, so everything is classified as positive, which means that we classify nothing as negative. So the true positive rate is one, and the false positive rate is also one because all of the actual negatives were incorrectly classified as positives. The range between these two extremes is where we evaluate the power of the model and we like to see more area under this curve. The more area under the curve, the stronger the model. 